how much I kind of haven't missed that sound. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> and uh, today I'm finally returning again to Emily is Away 3. So, um, <laughs> every time I make a video now I say this, but a lot of stuff has changed. Everything from my voice and my appearance to my operating system, <laughs> but I'm back because I really love this game. I wasn't even planning on this game until I rewatched some of the videos last night. And I actually ended up rewatching all three episodes um, that we've done so far. And I just really wanted to continue it. So now I'm refreshed and up to date on the story. So I know everything that's been going on. And I think we can resume where we left off. So for those of you who may not know, we let's start from the beginning. We went to Emily's Halloween party, and that caused some issues with Evelyn. Emily and I started dating, and Matt and Kelly broke up, and Emily and I are still dating. And Matt is still our friend, even though we canceled, uh, or we declined plans with him. So now, we can just continue. Monday, March 16th, 2009. Uh, okay, let's just wait for everything to flow in. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Oops, babe, I miss your face. Maybe you should meet me at my locker after school. Uh, Batman ain't got shit on us. Emily stole Braden's cape. Almost lost my phone after this picture. Emily is seeing Snow Patrol live tonight. Emily tagged you in two photos. Brayden keeping me warm while we wait for doors. 100 million suns and stars. Thanks for being so great, Brayden. Tonight was so much fun. See you at school in like six hours. Hey, what's your plan for prom? If you're ditching, we could party. Uh, okay. Hello there, babe. <laughs> How's your night going? You know, same old, same old. Well, I'll try to spice things up. Oh man, my ears are still ringing from the concert last night. Is that okay? Sure it is. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> I hear sarcasm burns. Thanks again for going to the show with me. Hey, anytime, it was a lot of fun. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> it's a familiar name. Like listening to Open Your Eyes while you held me. I loved it, I don't know. Yeah, it was a uh, good night. And oh my god, I just found the best photo. Well, this sounds potentially compromising. Oh, it is so compromising. Oh, notifications. <laughs> Whoa, who's that adorable girl next to me? I don't know, but I'm gonna beat her up. I love you, Raiden. Well, I love you more, so there. What? Oh no. Uh, what just happened? I just tried to turn on baby and it's dead. Um, excuse me, who is this baby? Baby, my iPod, you knew that. Your babe, obviously. Can't argue with that logic, it just makes sense. Crisis averted, the battery's just dead. Guess I have to stay at the computer to listen to music. Blah. Cough, cough, but I'm here. Cough. 
I know. I just wanted to do some homework tonight. Now, this may sound crazy, but there's perfectly good table under the keyboard. Trust me, that's definitely not enough table for my dysfunctional ass. It's cool though, I need it updated my YouTube playlist anyway. Oh shit, you got some new indie music for me? Danielle Kristen. Hmm. Uh, actually I've been getting back into electronic shit lately. Do you like that too? I don't know. Probably. Of course I like electronic shit too. Hells yeah, let me send you the playlist then. Oh boy, more music. Oh god. Different tab. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's not my favorite kind of music, but, um, I mean, it's not bad. Honestly, I don't know most of these songs. We'll get ready because this is that good shit. Wanna listen to this with me or should I send you the indie one too? I'm cool with the electronic shit if you are. Okay, starting mine now. I can't do that because of copyright. <laughs> I love doing this, it's almost like we're together. But it's still not as good as actually being together. Well, duh, I prefer real life, Brayden. I'm just super happy to call myself your girlfriend. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And speaking of coupley things, did you see what's coming up? Oh, I don't know. Whatever could you mean? Cough, cough, maybe this. Yeah, the prom. Uh, what were you thinking about doing? I have absolutely no idea. I wanted to ask you. We could do the prom thing or we could like do our own thing. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> which of those options do you prefer? I don't know, I mean, I, I don't want to make the decision. Dishing could be cool, but so is going, I don't really care. As long as we're together. What do you think we would do instead? I don't know, we could probably chill at my place, or maybe throw a party or something. What do you think? Honestly, based on... The stuff that's happened in the past in this game, going to public events. Fuck it, let's just ditch together. It seems like there's always a lot of issues at public events for these characters. Oh shit, Brain, I'm gonna go throw a party and we gonna dance. Dancing? Uh, that's all you. <laughs> No way, I don't want to, like, tango. You're saying you don't want to dance dance with me? Hmm. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe I'll even try to drink for, like, the first time. We'll see, no pressure. I I don't I don't think I'll ever like drinking. I'm just afraid I'll out drink you. She did be bad, trust me. Now I'm curious. We're like the cutest couple, huh? Fuck yeah we are. No contest. Everyone should just give up. Is not attending. It's 
So, yeah, I guess I should press not attending also. Oh man, I'm so soaked for our not prom now. It's gonna be great. It's so cool that we're like a couple and throwing parties and shit. We've come so far since this past summer. I know, that was so long ago. Yeah, longer in real life than in game time. <laughs> Oops. Uh, like half a year. I think my biggest regret of high school is that we didn't start dating sooner. I should have just told you how I felt sooner. And I should have too. At least ditching prom with someone cool. Oh shit, I hope my parents are cool with me springing a party on them. It's okay, they can just party with us. Be careful what you wish for. If I can host, I know a bonfire spot in the woods. That sounds super cool. I know, right? Chances are, people will already be there, too. Oh fuck, baby's alive. Thank god baby's okay. I actually would've broke down if it died. You could always get another one. How dare you, baby is one of a kind. Alright, I'm gonna do some homework. Don't forget to write me when you can. I'll do my very best. Talk to you later. Why are we yelling? <laughs> New status. Brayden has a pretty cool not prom date. Yo, Brayden. What up, Matt? How's your night? It's been pretty good. How's yours? It's okay, but, uh... I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Uh, sure thing, what's on your- what's on your mind? Before I say anything, if I'm like super off base, please don't get mad at me. Sure, whatever, what's up? What do you know about this Jeff guy? I was kind of wondering that last episode, I don't know. Um, uh, just some random kid who Emily knows. you've been seeing these wall posts, right? Uh, I guess I haven't. I never friended him, so I can't see him. The ones between them, like, have you seen Emily's responses? Uh, yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Are they bad? I'm not friends with Jeff. Alright, well, I don't blame you for not friending the guy. I... <laughs> So you're friends with him? He just accepted my friend request today and uh... Shit doesn't look good. Okay, what are you, what are you trying to say? Emily and Jeff are clearly flirting. I don't think I believe you. Right, and if only you could see his profile. Now how can we do that? Screenshots. I got it. You can just log in as me. <laughs> Wait, what? You really want me to do that? 
the easiest way, trust me. My password is 3OH3 forever. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm sorry. Log out and log in is Matt. I better not forget that. 3OH3 forever. Oh, I don't know his username. Uh oh. Slight problem. Uh, <laughs> well, wait, hold on. What's the username then? How do you even know the username? Okay, I Googled it. Uh, did I get that right? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> I had to Google it. This is weird. Welcome, Matthew. Friend request from Matt. Raiden wants to ditch and throw a party, so that's where I'll be. You better be there, too. A 96. Oh my god, Jeff. I know you cheated. I just don't know how. I mean, so what? I don't, I don't really see the problem. Oh, am I supposed to accept that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see them. It's a serious creeper. Profile has shit on it too. I don't really think anything's going on. I just, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just me being naive, but I don't know. When do you make all this? I don't know. Seems like normal friend stuff. It honestly looks like they're just friends. How about this music playlist? I thought music sharing was like your thing. <laughs> I don't know, I can't own that. And how about this prom question? Like a second after you two talked about it, she messaged Jeff. I really think you're reading into things too much. Like, why does he need to know about prom? Maybe he just doesn't want to go alone? Are you sure Emily hasn't seemed different lately? No, not that I've noticed. Before Kelly broke up with me, she started being a lot more outgoing. New friends, new personality, all of that. No offense, this situation is totally different. You're right, it is. What do you think this all like means for you two? I I don't know. I just... I'm not too worried. Like way more trusting than I could ever be. You know, I hate to say it, but maybe that's part of 
why your relationship failed. It's Emily. I know she cares about me. I don't know. I don't think I need to. Sorry, uh, maybe nothing, like there's a test for her? No, I don't know, it's not like a test. Isn't it better to kind of talk about this stuff? I, <laughs> I don't want to accuse her of anything because I don't believe she's done anything. All I'm saying is it doesn't hurt to talk to her. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Like, fuck Jeff, but whatever, you can't control that. Emily could be oblivious and being overly friendly, like. I don't know. Anything's possible, I guess. And I think you can bring Jeff up without being accusatory or whatever. I thought we were best friends. See, we, we discussed that before. It's good to have friends outside of your relationship. I don't see any issue. Thanks for your help, I guess. I don't know. I don't really see an issue. I'll be here all night if you need to talk. Oh, I just immediately logged me back in. That's interesting. Hello again, babe. Well, hello there. <laughs> So what'd you get up to while I was gone? Nothing really. It's kind of boring. I just... Yeah. I don't think anything's going on. And it's just not gonna go well if I accuse, you know. Well, that's weird. Matt's old profile became friends with his new one. Wonder what that's all about. Who knows with that kid? I don't. Seriously. So I started my homework, couldn't spell a word, and had to come back and Google it. Well, you can't not tell me the word. So it turns out... Oh, God. What kind of intense homework is this? It's a poem for creative writing. If you rhyme... Petrichor. Don't get an A. Fucking no. I love you, Brayden. I love you more. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. I just want to be held by you. It's a thing I know how to do. Oh. Am I friends with Jeff? No, but I can see. I, I guess that's how it works. You can see other people's feeds. It's true, you're very smart. You make me happy. You make me happy too. Okay, I'm gonna go for the night. But meet me at my locker tomorrow morning. 
Sounds good to me. Laters. Good night. I'm guessing that by the status that talking went well. <laughs> you really are a creeper. <laughs> Didn't talk about anything. I don't care. <laughs> People can have friends. Don't accuse until you have proof to accuse with. I trust Emily, it's really that simple. Damn, Freighton, you're like way more trusting than I could ever be. Maybe that's why I'm single and you're not. <laughs> that is not... You know, sometimes I wish you could backspace out of the options because when you expand them, they say more stuff. It's really not that hard to not be jealous. You just... <laughs> I'm glad you two are good. I've grown accustomed to my life as a third wheel. Don't worry, you'll find someone. Somewhere. Someday. <laughs> nice pep talk. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Talk to you later. Peace. Friend request from Jeff, but I sent it first! <laughs> hey, any friend of Emily's is a friend of mine. It's gonna make me talk to him. I, I knew that was where this was going. I actually didn't know at all, but... Oh! Never mind! <laughs> I figured it was gonna make me talk to him and... Decide whether to see small talk or try and expose him or whatever, but... Okay. Um, I... I think that has to be the shortest chapter I have ever seen in this game. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna have to... Here, I'm gonna... Oh, complete chapter four. I was like, what just happened? I'm gonna not look until it's done scrolling. Just so excited to party tonight with my babe. See you in a couple hours. Text me when you head over. Slackers of 09 represent. Did someone say s'mores? Britain and M looking fly. Kath, she stands with a well intentioned man. It's Braden's birthday. Thanks for always being such a good friend. <gasps> Wait! It actually. 508. It should be 05. But, um. It actually does the birthday stuff on the birthday you set in the game. That's cool, because that's my real birthday, uh, May 8th. Cool. Uh, thanks for always being such a great friend. Have a balloon. <laughs> At least I think it's a balloon. No more English, no more high school. We are free for the summer. High school's over. You trusted Emily and didn't confront her about Jeff. Life is good and summer vacation's here. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe I am naive and I should not be as trusting, but I just... There was no proof of anything happening. You can have friends. <laughs> I think you need to have friends so you don't get sick of each other immediately, <laughs> you know? So I don't... I mean, I don't know. I didn't see any problem with it. I was kind of worried that the game was going to try and force me to say something, but... No, um, okay, well, there's that episode, um, this is, okay, there was a lot of recording, it's probably gonna be like 30 minutes or something, man, that's crazy, this is the shortest chapter yet, how many chapters are there? Two hidden achievements, wait, okay, I'm gonna have to google it, <laughs> the achievements for the chapters only go up to four, so this next one isn't considered a chapter, that's weird. Ooh, maybe I should keep playing. I wonder how much is left of the game. Hmm.
let's uh, just get into it, I guess. Tuesday, June 2nd, 2009. Last day of high school, can you- Okay, wait, I'm just gonna wait again. Yeah, last day of high school, can you believe it? We fucking did it. We all knew you would, but me? Come on. <laughs> um, I knew we were planning on hanging after graduation today, but I think I got some family stuff to do. I'm sorry, Brayden. Matt tagged you in two photos. We fucking did it. Survived senior year thanks to these two. Uh, Emily kind of misses high school, like, already. Uh, nothing will beat the troop today. I'm bored, wanna hang out, go to the mall or something. Oh. Hmm. I think I got some family stuff. Wanna hang out? Hmm. I just wanna really quickly point out, those two posts were made on different days. I don't realize it in the video until a little later on, but Emily saying she had family stuff happened on a Saturday, and then her and Jeff hanging out happened on um, a Sunday yesterday. I just want to quickly point that out because I didn't realize it until later, but it makes a difference. Hmm. Oh, no. No. Is that where this game is going with it? Since I d didn't say anything, it got spiraled out of control. Ah, I have a big fear that's where this is going. Yeah, I kind of want to get something special for a certain someone on a certain day, but I need ideas. Uh... Oh, I have a ton of ideas, and some of them are even good. <laughs> I'm not sure who she's talking about, whose birthday is coming up. Oh, I see. Matt. Maybe what you mean by Corona and Lime. Hmm. So, wonder if him and Anna have something going on. <laughs> Down for Facebook, I totally forgot. I know you're thinking, a virtual cake, do I really deserve that? And the answer is you do, you really do. Oh shit, is that Brayden? Uh, no, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. <laughs> oh, my mistake, who is this then? <laughs> I'm you, from the future. <laughs> oh my god. So what are you up to? Uh, nothing much, you? The exact same. Supposed to hang out with Anna later, but just being a bum till then. Sounds like fun. Speaking of her, I saw she wrote on your wall. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Okay, fine, but maybe you could do me a favor. Just make sure she doesn't go overboard or something. <laughs> I'll do it for a price. <laughs> no way. Sorry, but I'm all about going overboard. <laughs> I would just feel bad if it's really crazy. Her birthday is until December. You'll be fine. Well, shit. Honestly, what I want is just like a beach day with everyone on the cape or something. Maybe. Is it like warm enough yet? What? What is it? Oh, it's June. <laughs> That's a dumb question. It's June. <laughs> Even if it's kind of chilly, it's still the beach. I see you. You think you're being sneaky, but I see you. <laughs> We can skimboard, play check, and all that dumb shit. Oh. As long as there's an ice cream truck, I am there. Oh shit, what's your favorite ice cream? Gotta go with the classic ice cream sandwich. 
Hey, don't fix what ain't broken. Will you ask Emily about going when you get the chance? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Anna's never been to the cave. Okay, all of these questions are a little abrupt. I guess. I I wouldn't want to be asked that, but the game didn't really give me a choice. Kinda, we're definitely more than friends. Okay, that's fine then. We're not like dating or anything. Too early? I don't know, like college is coming, labels suck. We're just having fun with each other now. Does make a lot of sense. <laughs> no, right? You have no plans to continue into college? Whatever ends up happening is okay by me. It's just so much easier without like labels and shit, you know? I could see that. But enough about us. How are you and Emily doing? I, ass I assume we're good. I haven't talked to Emily yet since this next chapter. I know you two are like a power couple. Shut up and let me pamper you. <laughs> Well, don't worry, we can workshop the name. Bray Dilly. I could use some work. I got a missed call for mana. Yeah, you're definitely in trouble. It's fine, she probably wanted to ask about tonight. I should call her back. Good luck. Peace. I don't know. The game... See... The game's making me second guess about Jeff now, and I kinda knew this was where this was going. But... 11.03, 5. Hmm... Oh, this was all yesterday. I see. I see. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Okay. Okay, I was reading this all wrong. Saturday was the family stuff. Yesterday. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I, I don't know. The game. It, the game's gonna make me second guess more than I would in real life. Just because I know the game's gotta go somewhere. And it's a little fishy, because the... The chapter achievements kind of spoiled things. Hello there, how are you? Pretty bored, you. I'm the exact same. I can't wait for college. Nothing ever happens in this shit town. While I go to the movies or something. I don't know, I think my parents wanted me to stay in tonight. I'll, I'll be right over with the ladder, we're breaking you out. I don't know. Really, it's okay. I can just play some games or something. <laughs> Damn, this response! Um, if you're sure. Guess I got my swagger back. So what have you been up to? Not much really. Matt was just messaging me. So I want to do a beach day or something? What do you think? 
We should. I think it'd be really fun. I've been kind of busy lately. Plus, I don't really like the beach. If you go, I'll buy you an ice cream. Okay, I guess. Is it like a double date? Just don't say it out loud. I thought him and Anna were like dating. Matt told me they're not putting labels on it yet. Oh wow, I guess that kind of makes sense. It being the summer before college and whatever. Must be hard for them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't really think so. I bet that makes things easier. Right now there's no expectations, you know. I have to wait and see how it ends. At least no relationship means no breakup. <laughs> ah... Yeah, no breakup doesn't mean no hurt feelings. What do you think we'll do for college? Stay together, right? You long distance for four years. I don't like where this is going. We'll still see each other like a lot. Yeah, but not like every day. Deleting. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to do? I just don't know, like, what type of couple we are, you know? No, I don't think I know what you mean. Like, are we high school sweethearts, you know, soulmates? Or are we the other way more common type? I don't think we could ever know that now. But shouldn't we feel like we're the first type? Do you not think that we are? Sometimes I do. Like, do you think we're soulmates? Closest thing to a soulmate I've ever known. I don't know, that sounds a little cringy, but for now. It's very clear where this is going. We should really have this conversation in person. conversation are we having? Just, I've been thinking a lot lately about us. Okay. And you know how you're like my closest friend, right? And you're mine. I guess lately this has felt more like friendship than other stuff. In what way? I 
I don't know, like when we're together, it's like, it's not as much as it used to be. As much what? The fireworks, the butterflies, whatever you want to call it. They're just not there anymore. What are you saying? Do you still love me? Of course I love you. But I don't know, maybe I'm not in love with you. <sighs> Let me guess. The good ending with Emily would have happened if you would have said something about Jeff. Right? Because then it would have stopped and you would have selfishly... I knew this was coming. <laughs> like, I knew there was still way too much left in the game for it to just... I don't really like any of the other options, so I'm just gonna, I guess, say that. I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt you. You haven't felt this way at all. Of course not. You're my girlfriend, Emily. That's just a label. I'm talking about how you feel. Like, do you love me the same as when we started dating? And I guess we're just at different places in this. How long have you been feeling like this? A while? I guess it's been kind of gradually building, I guess. And talking to friends recently helps me put it into words. Yep, there's the abrupt kicking the balls <laughs> that the game just has to point out that you were too trusting I, I guess you could have talked to me couldn't have because you're part of this sometimes your friends just know you better than you know yourself I guess. So what do you think we should do? Well, I know what I think, but it's pretty clear that you don't think the same. We figure out what's wrong with us and fix it. But what if there's not a something that's wrong? Things weren't always like this, right? So we can work it out. Not necessarily. It's Maybe we're not the same anymore. I don't know. This is why Matt and Anna make so much sense to me. Because they don't label what they are. Maybe there's just a lot of expectations here. Sometimes it's hard to know how I feel versus how I'm expected to feel. About us, or just in general? It 
They feel like the same thing to me. How do you feel about us? I love you too, Brain, but there's more relationships than that, right? Nothing's as important as love. There is more to it. Maybe I just wish we could be more like men, Anna. I don't need labels. It's exactly what I was thinking. What do you think about taking a break? I feel that pretty commonly taking a break simply opens the door for someone else. And I hate to accuse of that, but it's really kind of feeling like None of those options were really great. Maybe it's for the best. We can clear our heads, figure out what we want apart from each other. about yourself too, you deserve better than this. Okay. I don't want to say this, but I just, I do have to know. I didn't read it. Uh, nope, this is about us. It's not just about us, though. I swear to you that it is, but okay, go ahead. Ask many questions that you like. Well, we already kind of know the answer to two. And kind of three. <laughs> Now we're just into the desperate phase that makes me look like the <laughs> the bad guy. If you ever emotionally cheated, what does that mean? <laughs> Secretive sustained closeness with someone who isn't your primary partner. Do you think Jeff considers you just a friend? No. Hmm. You really don't see the problem with that? Do 
Do you honestly think this is the first time a friend has been interested in me? But it's different. That doesn't change my feelings towards you and us at all. Ah, I honestly just don't believe that. All Jeff is to me is a friend. He's a great friend. One that I can talk to. One that listens to me. But in the end, that's all he is. So if you have a problem with that, you don't have a problem with him. You have a problem with me having friends. Of course I don't have a problem with that. Plus, Braden, you're the one that said it was okay for me and Jeff to be friends. I don't remember that, but I don't like any of these three options. See, I don't like that answer either, but I just didn't have much choice in that situation. If you think me having friends is the problem, this is broken from the start. We both know that it wasn't. Whatever, can we just drop this? What do we do? Should we take a break for the summer? I don't want to stay together. If there is no love. I was saying that. Some episode. I don't remember when. <sighs> that. If you try to stay together. Just because you're scared of the breakup. But it's, it's different in this case. Because there's. Speculations. That again. You can't. Pr I can't prove. But it doesn't look good. And she's. And of dodging it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, one is just desperate. Three is unnecessary. Two is not a great option either, but it's what I got. I think this is fucking bullshit. Nice. Can be upset. It's a very valid reaction. I'm upset too. I'm not lashing out. I'm trying to talk to you. Hmm. I just think time apart might be exactly what we need. Be alone, clear our heads, then maybe come back together. It's a pretty shitty situation overall. <laughs> At this point, I would just give in in real life, but... The game's not giving me that choice, so... Yeah. Because it, nothing, I, none of these options are going to work in my favor. Nothing's really going to work in my favor, but I think at this point, if I was given the option, I would just... say okay. <laughs> but... That's not... A, a, that's not a one, two, three... Maybe it is, but I'm half of this relationship. Again, not great options that the game's giving me. Whatever then, fuck this, I tried. Me too.
Fuck it, we should just break up. Sorry, Braden. Continue, Nora. I know I fucked this up. I need to say this, and I need you to know I mean it. I hope we can still be friends when this is all over. Just give me some time. Okay, and if it means anything, I do still care about you. gonna say uh bye yep the one thing she said not to do the only way out is through Sorry, I'm not reading, like, any of the dialogue. I'm just taking it in. I don't know. I probably should. Damn right I'm mad. And then the bye. And... Uh, excuse me, what the fuck just happened? I don't know, Emily basically just ended things. Holy shit, are you okay? Nope, not really. I'm so sorry, Brayden. It's not your fault. Me to put some CMDs over her wall or something. Oh, but thank you for the offer. If you change your mind, just let me know. Got some choice where it's locked and loaded. Uh, sure, you do. Okay. Okay, that's where I saw this going. <laughs> Please define dick bacon. <laughs> now. <laughs> the personality is somewhere between a douche canoe and a bitch biscuit. Learn something new every day. It's like, what happened? What did Emily say? She feels like we're more friends than anything else. It seems pretty out of the blue. Surprised me pretty bad too. Seems like there's a communication issue on her side. Because that shit she wanted to break up. She wanted to separate. 
take a break. So she changed her mind during your conversation. Towards the end of it. What the hell did she expect to happen? Something doesn't make sense here. Yeah. Hey, Em, is everything okay? Text me when you see this. Can I ask a maybe not okay question? Guess so. Does have anything to do with Jeff? I still don't have any proof of it but there is no in the middle option you either say yes or you say no so yeah I don't know I guess so You don't think she like cheated on you, right? I don't know. <laughs> um I I don't know. I don't think so. The choice words I would have had. Okay, so I'm not sure what words I'm allowed to. Some words YouTube r is really sensitive about, and we have to look that up. But uh, I don't like name calling. I mean, it. it the situation is what it is. You mind if I get semi serious for a second? I'll allow it. I know it might not feel like this now. But if Emily does have feelings for someone else, I think this is the best possible outcome. Yeah. Are you faking your relationship is. <laughs> you know, it's not something I'd ever be interested in doing. If there's no love, then there's no relationship. Doesn't matter how you put it. I know you and Emily didn't really talk about Jeff, but even if you did... See, I think talking about it would have gone poorly too, because there was no evidence, and at the time I thought it was uncalled for. I still don't have proof, but... Time will tell. I'm not sure if th how things could have gone any better. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Sometimes you can't save it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think challenging her over friends would have gone well. All I'm saying is you chose to trust Emily and have faith in your relationship. 
That means something. didn't deserve you. Remember when Kelly dumped my ass super hard last year? How could I forget? I made this music playlist. I remember this. Oh no, the option three is scary. <laughs> okay, yep, that's about what I expected. Okay, <laughs> yep, sandstorm dead hours. This is fucking fantastic. <laughs> God bless YouTube. Sorry, I forgot to turn off all my fans. It got hot, so I turned them on for a second. I'm just hoping it makes your night a little better. Anything would be an improvement. You want to get together and chill? Play video games or something? Thought you were supposed to be seeing Anna. Let's tell her I can't. She'll understand. I don't want to force that. I don't want to cancel their plans. As we go on, we remember. But if you change your mind, just text me or whatever. You can third will me in Anna State anytime. <laughs> Thanks for being a good friend. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna head out. Have fun. Peace. Evelyn. Yeah, that's, uh... That's what I figured. Who's yellow? Um, is that... Uh, Kelly. That's what I thought. Hey. It's like super random, but me and Kelly are gonna throw a senior summer party thing. We were wondering if you and Matt would wanna come. Uh, I'm down about to ask Matt. Awesome sauce. Hope to see you there. I'll do my best. Deuces. Log out and end this chapter. Hmm. Emily is away three. No. No. Dedicated to Marilyn Palmer. Oh, here's the credits. Wait, let me. Yeah, okay. Well, that <laughs> was not the ending I was hoping for. Here's all the special thanks. And you. Your personalized stats, 2009 edition. 51% of players went to Emily's party. 49 discouraged, or encouraged Evelyn to befriend. Emily to befriend Evelyn. Good lord. What? Why would... 
Okay, hold on. I'm gonna let them all continue so I can actually talk about them. Okay, I can't see what this is, but... Huh. Why would you discourage them? I mean, I, I don't know. You and 68% did not tell Emily any rumors about Matt. Six, you and 61% kept date plans instead of seeing Matt. You and 33% didn't talk to Jeff when signed in as Matt. Only 33%? Hmm. You and 67% chose not to intervene over Jeff. You and 30% got this ending. So the other 30%... Would have been maybe not bringing up Jeff at all and going on a break. Which I think would be worse because then you wouldn't have any closure. Maybe. Your personalized stats 2007 edition. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Oh, here's, this is all we get. Matt and Brayden being Matt and Brayden. Timber. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the party, Brayden. It was great to hang out again. That's all we get. Well, that was not the ending I was hoping for. <sighs> the problem is... Oh, sorry. I was really close to my mic there. The problem is, in a situation like that, there's just a lot of... I don't know. I guess, you know, gray spots, gray space. The game never confirms whether there was anything to do with um jeff but yeah and i know it does that on purpose because it wants you to keep you know wondering questioning yourself if it was the right thing but <sighs> I should have realized that the game wasn't going to let me off that easy. <laughs> Choose a timeline to load. Huh. There are different save slots, so you can try different things. Huh. I'm not going to try for different endings on video because it just wouldn't be the same. And also, because I heavily encourage you guys to go pick up this game for yourself, because it is a wonderful game. And in the past, I referenced um, the Emily is Away team, but what I found out in reality is it's always just been one person making the games. Kyle. And see... I I mean I knew he the game was published under his name but I didn't realize it was actually just him producing the games which is awesome <laughs> like you know it's the Emily's Away games even though this one kind of really fucked me over I just will always love them and to hear that it's all of this like the whole series and all of the memories I have from this series are just one guy. Thank you. Kyle Seeley. Thank you for the experience and for allowing me to share it with all you guys. The price can obviously change and it probably will, but currently the game is 10 US dollars and it is worth all of it because even though you just watched me play through a playthrough, 
there are so many different branching paths in this game that it's just there is so much that you can experience that you never did with this series and i absolutely highly encourage you to go check out the game yourself now is this going to be the final emily's away game i have no clue and i have no way of knowing i think it's possible but because we're we've fully graduated and we're going off to college so unless we continue from there which is possible yeah i don't know as of right now there's no announcement about a new game i would absolutely play a new game but right now i think the series is at a pretty good spot oh the video that pops up whenever you finish the game the someone great shows is published by kyle seeley with the description i love you all and then if you scroll down to the comments all three of the most primary characters just say and it keeps coming could this mean a fourth game or am i interpreting that wrong so there's one thing I wanted to tell you guys about that I found out uh, researching into how the endings work in this game, but I am going to give a warning. If you plan on playing this game yourself and you haven't already, you may not want to continue watching because this is about how the endings work and a bit more, you know, into that. So you may want to take caution because you could experience some spoilers depending on the experience you were hoping to have so i recommend if you're planning on playing the game yourself once or more don't watch this part until you have with that out of the way though everyone who's still watching it turns out that your first playthrough or your first save slot as we saw the save slot mechanic will always be a failure as in, you will always get the bad ending, which I read into it, and at first I thought it sounded stupid, but after reading this Reddit post here by user Metal Daddy, <laughs> I kind of realize it now, because they mention the majority of us will continue to get bad endings, similar to how Matt says, you keep playing the conversation in my head over and over again, and eventually you grow a severe hatred towards whichever character you feel took your girl away from you in my case jeff and this article at animehuntermage.wordpress.com points out how how the true good ending seems like more of a dream of the main character because the only way that you can get the ending is if you quote unquote manipulate reality itself if you replay the the game since you cannot get the good ending the first time and it illustrates that we don't always get the things we want to and it highlights how fictitious some things can be our fascination with emily is a fleeting dream as we know that high school sweethearts don't last very long and the reality that the only way to get the good ending being by playing the story in your own head adds a bit of tragedy to the whole story these are both things that i would have never thought about at first but reading into them it really proves just how good of a storyteller kyle seeley is and that's why i said if you're planning on playing the game yourself i suggest you do because you'll play through and get the bad ending maybe you'll play again and potentially get the bad ending and you'll experience the experience and this person also has a good point a kind of point that i kind of felt during the playthrough too while jeff wasn't trying to actively take her away it certainly feels like he was indirectly contributing to the downfall of the relationship emily even said that jeff obviously helped her when it came to choosing if she should end the relationship or not 
I don't even think he recognizes you as her boyfriend when he adds you if you don't confront him. He said something along the lines of a friend of Emily is a friend of mine. And there's no way that dude was that naive. They also point out another thing that I agree on, that Matt is definitely the best bro in the game. I should also point out, if you're going for a good ending yourself, if you want to get the good ending, you have to get the bad ending for the opposite girl, and then use the other save slot you have open to try and get the good ending with the girl you're going for. So for example, if you want to get Emily's good ending, you have to get the bad ending with Evelyn, and then replay it to get the good ending with Emily in a different save slot, which adds even more interesting concept to it because it means that if you keep replaying the exact same story you will always experience the same failure just going for the same girl and getting the same ending i think that might be the the best story told part of it all that if you go for the exact same person over and over again you'll always experience the unfortunate reality of it i really hope nobody got spoiled by this but i just had to point it out because it's such a wonderful little story element that nobody would have probably realized on their own i know i certainly wouldn't have unless i looked up the game a little bit i was actually just looking at a tab i had open about the achievements and i saw someone talk about the endings and that's how i found this and it's just such a such a tiny little detail that most people would never notice that just changes the whole way that the game sets in for some people and it's it, it just makes this game so much more charming real wonderful so thank you kyle seeley for this amazing experience and thank you guys for being here to experience it with me, even though it's been a long time in the making. So in classic Be The Epic style outro, I hope you guys like this video and bye.